Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 45 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And in the last episode... Oh my god! Dazongos! Baby Dazongos! Go away. In the last episode, I made it to the Forest Temple, and for na now, for some reason, I am in the Fire Temple, Dazongos Cavern. Um, and the reason I'm here is to show you how great my ocarina sounds in this place, because it has such great acoustics, you know, being inside a volcano and all. And oh my god, a scarecrow appeared. I did not expect that to happen. Alright, I'm lying. I did. Fine. It's because there's a skull up here. That I promised I would get at the start of this episode, I think. And that has clear officially cleared out all of the th the three child dungeons of this game out of Skulltulas. And out of everything else, too. Okay, so, um, I guess that's that. I'm gonna cut to wherever I'm gonna cut to. See you then. Okay guys, I'm back now, and uh, you may have noticed that my rupee count is much, much, much higher than it was in the last video. And that's because I actually did find the secret hole in Kakariko after much bombing around. It was right here. So, if you want to find it yourself, then just take, pause the video or something and get a good look at where it is. And I'll show you what was down here in the first place. Yeah, look at this weird place. Like, what the heck? It looks like there's water rising up, but it's actually like the w effect on the walls or the light or... St I don't even know what's happening in this room. Anyways, down here, uh, there's a chest that contains one huge rupee, which is worth 200 rupees. And also, before the chest will appear, there are actually two reeds that you have to kill on the, s on the sides of the room there. Just letting you know now. And also, while we're in Kakariko still, don't worry, we're going to get to the forest temple in this video. It's just matter of stuff I have to clear up beforehand. Um, but before we leave now, I'm gonna go ahead and get the reward for 40 Skulltulas. I believe it's this guy who gives it to you. The curse has been broken! Thank you, here's a reward for you! And you get Bomb Chew. Yep, that's the reward for 40. Seriously. I can get that for free at the Bomb Chew Bowling- well not for free, and paid 30 rupees and I only have a small chance of winning it, but still! Still, I, if I can get it that easily, it should not be the reward for getting 40 freaking Skulltulas. That's 40% of all of them in the game. Seriously. Alright guys, so now I'm going to cut again. See you when I see you. Alright Ingo, this time I've got you, you son of a bitch. Screwed me over once too many times. Actually, twice too many times. I will beat you this time, Ingo. Don't even kid yourself. Stay out of there, Ringo. Yes, I am trying again. I probably should have mentioned that earlier, but before I, after I cut, but... Yes, and it looks like I might actually do it this time. Oh my god! Oh my god, I did it! I just jizzed in my pants. No, I didn't. I'm just kidding. Because it's not that exciting. I've done it before. Oh my god, he's going crazy. What the hell? What's up with that horse? Is that Epona? No, it's... It's, Ra it's Raphael. That's his new name. How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? Because you have a big nose. I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it on the race and lost. Shoot! Shit. Ha ha. Oh, what are you now cal- oh, Why are you so calm all of a sudden? What the hell is wrong with you? You have big mood swings, guy. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. What? Dude. Hoss did situation much? Oh, uh, looks like we're trapped in the ranch forever, guys. Nothing you can do about that, really. Except maybe one thing. Maybe we can try and... Let's do this. Oh, yeah. We're coming at you, Ingo. Coming full speed. Full speed. What the hell? No. Stupid. Go away. Get out of here. Stop it. Dude, I have to get... I have to have time for the forest temple. Well, screw that then. I'm just going to take the easy way. Maybe I don't want to jump over your head. Yeah, it kind of spoiled it. You can jump over his head to get out, or you can just jump over the, one of the fences on the side. And, but either way, it is so epic. Look at this. Oh yeah. Here he comes. Charging. Pwned. With the Pona. And now you have free reign to ride Epona wherever you want across Hyrule Field. But only Hyrule Field, really. Maybe some other places, but... Yeah, like Lake Hylia, for instance. And it goes much faster than even backwalking. I know. Surprising, isn't it? Anyways, so now that we're done with that, I'm not going to waste any more time, and we're going to go right to the Forest Temple. So I'll see you guys then. 
Alright guys, I'm back now, and as you can see, I'm on top of this maze area that is right before the Force Temple. That's just because I don't want to forget to get the Skulltula that's over here. Because I did on the way. Mostly because it was just daytime. And can you hit that Skulltula please, Link? Please? Please? Thank you. Finally. And there we go. That's that. And now, I don't even need to cut because we're just... Don't lag, please. Because we're just that close to the Forest Temple. Here we go. I already killed this guy in here, so he won't get in our way with his fat, ugly self. And now it's time to start the first dungeon of adulthood, I guess. And you do up that by hook and shotting up to that tree, and we can head in now to the Boris Temple. The music's kind of weird, but whatever. Anyways, uh, we won't may not get too far into this in this episode just because we only have like a few minutes left four or five maybe we could get a little bit into it anyways as you can see the first thing that you want to do when you come into the dungeon is not even enter the dungeon really it's basically you want to climb up here and yes there's a gold sculpture right there I'll get that don't worry I actually kinda of forgot about that one but when I, I always actually forget about that one but then I see it when I'm climbing up so it's not it's not even a big deal oh damn I didn't know you could have shot to that. I thought... Oh, crap. Damn it! Stupid Link. You st you stupid, yeah. I mean, seriously, Link. What the fuck is wrong with you? You you try to grab onto the vines, not let go of them. And why didn't I just hookshot back up here? I'm stupid now. Thanks, Link. Your stupidness is now rubbing off on me. Not to say that I wasn't stupid before. But anyways, you want to come up here because you want to cross over to this to the end of this tree branch, take out your hookshot, and there's a chest over there you can hookshot to. Yes, you can hookshot to chests, so that's very convenient. Especially since there's a small key inside this chest. Yep. And now we can just actually go inside the dungeon now. Ouch. That must hurt, Link. Did that hurt? I think it might hurt. Dude, open the door! Do you need Navi to give you another tutorial on that? Because you don't open doors if you're rolling into them. Oh, by the way, you can kill these big sculptures now with one shot of the hook shot. One shot of the hook shot. One hook shot. Yes. Ooh, heart. Thank you. He loves me. And here is the... Oh, look at this. Yeah. I actually played... Here's a, here's a neat story. I, um, I actually played Twilight Princess before I played this game. I know that's a little weird, but whatever. Um, and... Uh, yeah, they took the fire, stupid pose. But whatever, back to my story. Yeah, it's all about me. Me! Anyway, so, yeah, when I saw this, I thought, for a split second, I thought that this game was ripping off Twilight Princess. And then I realized how stupid that was, and I decided, no. No, just, no. Besides, it's not ripping off, it's from the same series, so it wouldn't matter anyways. Anyways, um, I'm gonna get my Deku nuts. Just cause. Anyways, so... Basically, the first little bit of this dungeon is going to be key collecting. Oh my god! That was easy. Oh my god, he's not dead? You die. You die. You just go to hell and you die. Awesome. Anyways, that was a blue bubble. Not too hard if I do say this on myself. Oh my god. Skeleton people. Skeleton people. Stalfos. Yes, these are Stalfos. They're not too hard. And the, the second one there will leave you alone while you're fighting the first one, which is very helpful. Yes, I pwn at fighting Stalfoses. Stalfi. Yeah, and they can block the Deku, the Deku Nut Blast with their shield. And I'm not talking very interest. I'm not talking very interesting commentary. I'm just telling you how to beat Stalfos. Although I guess that's appropriate when you're fighting Stalfos. So never mind. Hurry up and die. Okay, I think one more hit should do him in. And there you go. That's the mini boss for this dungeon. Just kidding. That's not the mini boss. They were just guardians of a teeny tiny little chest there. Yeah. I feel bad for them having to guard such a small little chest. Oh well. And we get a small key that is the second one of this dungeon. And the first time I went through this dungeon. Hold on, guys. Alright guys, sorry about that, I was just very rudely interrupted by my sister, but anyways, um, 
As I was saying, my first time to this dungeon, I did miss that. Oh yeah, I hear Seltzula. Is that another one of the ones that I forget about? It must be. Anyways, yeah, the first time I went through this dungeon, I actually did miss the small key at the be very beginning, and I made it all the way to n nearly the end of the dungeon, and then I ran out of keys, and I'm like, what the hell? What the hell? This first dungeon screwed me over. What? What's wrong with me? Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Whatever. Is that chanting I hear in the background or something? I don't know. Anyways, oh, here's another one of these stupid blocks. Oh, but it looks like we're going to have to save this block for next time. Because we're just about out of time here, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and see you in the next episode of the Force Dungeon. And good night.